And what I think what people don't know is he really was a dad. So he could be completely hands-on and completely hands-off at the same time. You didn't know which dad actually you might get, but you always got, when he was present, he was fully, fully present and available. And it was always do as I say, not as I do in our family. You know, the memories I have of him is, is going fishing and going on elaborate, crazy trips around the world because that's, he wanted us to see things, you know. He wanted us to see the Queen of England and he actually, I think I thought he was gonna meet her. I don't know, I'm not sure, but we went to London and waited for a long time. You know, got to wave like from a distance, yeah. but I doubt she saw him. Awesome. At home, he was very quiet. He's very quiet and very shy, very introverted. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he liked to play music, so there was always music in the house. My dad played the drums, he played the piano a little bit, kind of, I think we played it better. Um, <laughs> there, so there was musicians that would come to the house and hang out. Um, and he wasn't like one of those people that had a lot of stars around, so we didn't have that kind of lifestyle. It was mainly family. He would fly in from Peoria to come, like he would fly his grandmother in, mama, to cook these elaborate, you know, dinners, and then, when she got tired of that and then she passed on, he got a chef. And he so did leave, obviously, this legacy, but I don't think he was aware that he, of the mark and the road he actually paved for other people to be able to do what they're doing today. There's a Richard Pryor somewhere here in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. There's that guy who's, who knows how to play the dozens on the corner, who knows about the violence, who's talking about it in an irreverent, funny way, and maybe we just haven't heard him yet. You know, you have certain people that, you know, know the city and know its flavor and, and I think, and know the hardships, and from that is where the laughter comes from, when we can laugh at our pain. I mean, that's what I love about comedy. It's not pretty. The people in comedy aren't you know, they're not jolly souls. I mean, they just aren't because of what they do see every day. So I think actually we might not have tapped into yet who that young, you know, Richard Pryor or, you know, um, George Carlin is yet, but I think they're here.